In some ways, Bashrin GA seems to have orchestrated its downfall before it even began. A violent leader who seems to be paralyzed by the curses of the seers decides to sacrifice his beloved princess Agbanini at the Ga's end of the house to regain feeling in his legs. Bashrin GA attempt to consolidate power throughout the film always seemed reckless, but there was a purpose behind it. However, when his legs go, he feels that his true sense of power has been taken from him. Killing Princess Agbanini was a leap that defied logic, even in those times when violence meant power. Bashiranga's legs seem to be feeling again, but the sacrifice to end the apparent curse was a case's belly for Odo Kingdom. The leaders then plan to kill Bashara Ga and destroy his bloodline as a deterrent and prevent future tyrants. Ga falls into their hands and asks all her sons to return in time for the Oran festival. His son Oyimkin is furious. He spent much of his life in love with Princess Agbanini, but due to power and loyalty, he could not marry her. Even his father, Jie, decided to marry him when he was widowed, a strange decision by the leader that left his son in despair. Oyimkin is enraged by his father's decision to sacrifice Princess Agboniai and kill Sasa who performed rituals for Jie and acted as the princess's executioner. Oran festival is coming, Ara and Aleph and Abiyadin gather their warriors at the Oyo border. The onslaught is relentless and the house of Jie is desperate to fight the war they should have expected. However, they are easily defeated and many of the Bashoro Jie bloodline are killed. However, Oikium escapes before the warriors reach him and hides in Lorin, where he learns of his father's fate. Oyimikam begs not to be sent back to Oyo because he knows he will be killed, but instead he is given a new name, Bangbalasa. Princess Egbanyan's son lived with his grandfather King Abayadin in Oyo Isle. So, the Basharin Ga lineage was not completely wiped out, but it was certainly broken and speechless. As for Basharin Ga himself, he and his wife Zainab were captured fairly quickly during the raid. Zainab betrays her husband and claims to be a slave, so she is freed. The Ga is then paraded and shamed around Oyo. In Rovio, ready for execution, he orders people to bring down Oyo before he is burned to death. The end of House of Ga is unforgivable. The erasure of entire genealogies as a deterrent was a terrible transformation of how the old kingdoms operated. There was no time for mercy or compromise. The ending also speaks to how great this movie is. Hope you like this video. Stay tuned in this channel for latest upcoming updates on this series. And add a bookmark in this channel for further upcoming updates on movies anime and web series. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video please like comment and share our channel. And for latest updates please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon.